In this video, I'm going to explain to you guys why texturizers are bad for your hair, why you shouldn't use them, and why I still use them. Coming up. What's up everyone, it's Winstoney coming back to you guys with a brand new video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead click that subscribe button, click the notification bell to stay up to date on every new video I post. So if you guys have been watching my channel, you know that a lot of my videos are on using texturizers, um, tips on maintaining them. People ask me in the comments all the time if texturizers are bad for your hair, and I always say yes, but I never explain in detail why texturizers aren't good for your hair. So this video isn't really to discourage you from using a texturizer, it's just to let you know what you're in for if you do decide to use one. See, texturizers, perms, hair dyes, they're all chemicals that have a negative effect on your hair. They all chemically alter your hair. One of the biggest reasons why texturizers are considered dangerous to your hair is because of a chemical called sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide isn't necessarily harmful in products, depending on the concentration. Sodium hydroxide can be found in some conditioners, probably some conditioners that you use every day, don't even know that it's in there. It's used to balance out the pH in your hair as well as keep ingredients in the, in the conditioner together that will normally separate. It also makes products more alkaline. You might be surprised to hear that sodium hydroxide can be found in your household cleaners, such as like your drain cleaners, you know, that's, I know, I know, you know, uh, ingredients that are in household cleaners are also in your hair products. Now here's where the problem comes in. So some texturizers have a high concentration of sodium hydroxide, which is when it's considered dangerous and why it's bad for your hair, why the texturizer is bad for your hair. High concentration of sodium hydroxide on your hair can cause severe burns on your scalp, inflammation, breakage, hair loss, dryness, and the chemical can even be absorbed into your skin through your scalp and cause health issues, especially if you're constantly using it. Texturizers are pretty much a milder version of perms, but the risks are still the same. And like I said, that goes for hair dyes as well. So all of those products are pretty much in the same category. So that ingredient is probably one of the biggest reasons of why texturizers are so dangerous for your hair. And the reason why sodium hydroxide is in such a high concentration in uh, texturizers and dyes and th those sort of products is because it's used to, the high concentration allows the chemical to penetrate your hair strands and to alter your hair and to make it, you know, how you want it. So with all of those risks, I still choose to use a texturizer and I'm gonna explain to you guys why. I feel I've gotten pretty good at the recovery process and I think it's really important that you master as best as you can the recovery process if you're going to use you know a texturizer or any chemical altering product in your hair the risks will always be there but the most important thing to help counter the negative effects of a texturizer is your hair care process after using it your hair is weak prone to damages prone to breakage and you really need to know the right products to use to help your hair recover over the years i've tried a lot of different products and i've shown you guys what I use and pretty much have narrowed down what works for my hair and what products really help it. And I really feel like that is the most important thing when going into using, you know, uh, dangerous products like that. The bottom line is, in my opinion, if you want to use a texturizer, um, you know, hair dye perm, you know, any of those chemicals, um, you have to be willing to take the time to help your hair recover from the effects if you want to keep your hair as healthy as possible because it is stress on your hair. And if you don't wanna be bothered with hair care after using those products, then I suggest not using them because in the beginning, yeah, you'll enjoy the results of the texturizer or whatever, but down the line, your hair will slowly start to deteriorate and you'll end up being unhappy, stressed, you know, that your hair is falling out or it's thinning or you're having hair breakage, um, all sorts of problems, you know, because you weren't taking care of it. So, you know, the choice is yours. Yeah, if you guys have any questions about texturizers or any other chemical hair product, you can leave it in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. I'm by no means a chemist, doctor, or hair care professional. These are just my opinions and things that I've learned while doing research online. And so, yeah guys, that's it for this video. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, and I'll see you guys 
in my next video. Oh, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it.